get to the bottom of this one. Unspoken truths that I miss one. Tap into the minds of the people. Rather acknowledge before I dismiss one. Ideas plus some Christians. Buddhists, they all got usage. All got perspective. It's a collective. Get to the bottom of the truth is. What our hearts uncover. What it detox more of the lies you smother. What I'm trying to the kill you. What faith you recover. Yeah. Peel off the makeup. We finna take off. Never said to be a cakewalk. Meditate till we charge up. As he goes regardless. Decalcify my PDO. Breaking language barriers. We saw millennials. Planets passing age rotations. Down we we all. So down we we know. Sometimes we can't be slow. That's why my ears hope. Every drop you had could complete the ocean. Speak up. Play your part too. Been vulnerable. It's so hard to. Reflect on all the truth like taught you. It's for you tell the truth. Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly's Unseen Twisted Truths. We are the People's Podcast. We promote love and unity. If you support you, we will support you because we love you. But I appreciate everybody tuning in tonight. Um, I really want to talk about many of different things. Many different things. But most importantly, I want to talk about... Um, the position that you are in this in this world do you know how important you are to this world do you value the position that you are to be in in this world do you value your role i get it sometimes it's hard i get it sometimes you feel lonely and like nobody um, overstands what you're saying or going through I get it where it feels like you support people and no one supports you. I get all of that. But at the end of the day, people are really worried about all the wrong things. Them are all feelings. Them are all about how you feel. None of it has to do with anything for your purpose of your life and your growth. None of it has to do with the position you are in life and where you want to go in life. So... Check your feelings at the door and realize what's your position in this world and go for it. Go through what you have to to grow and, and fulfill that purpose that you have and put yourself in a position to grow. So um, I've been learning a lot about the um, mind frequency calendar and whatnot. And I don't know if you're not hip to that. Um, I'm not really that hip to tell you exactly what it is. I do know, though, that it's almost like a Chinese calendar. Every day has a cycle. Every day has a meaning. Every day has a totem. So get hip if you want to get hip. I'm not the one to teach on it because I'm not the one to teach her the. So uh, I do know, though, today's the 13th day of the cycle. And as the 13th day of the cycle, that you have to be ready and prepared for many things. And that is where you're going to go in life. What's the position in life that you are meant to be in? What pot are you meant to be in in life? Where are you going to be soiled equally in life? So all those things really matter. And um, finding who you are and finding your position in this world it's not easy. It's not easy at all. Once you do, though, you should value that and hold on to that and work forward that. Work forward to that only. Anything else is none of your business. So invest in self. Properly love yourself. Properly value yourself. Properly appreciate who you are. Put yourself in the position that you need to be in to do what you need to do with life. So, um, with that being said, I just, I'm not going to make this long because there's nobody on here with me and I'm not going to just dead weight and push my opinion to everybody because I'm not that type of individual. I like other people's opinions and I like to, um, hear other people's sides and whatnot. I'm, I'm not into pushing the narrative of just self, but sometimes, you know, I believe in this. I believe in this journey. I believe in this mission. 
I believe in this podcast. I know it matters to some. And I know that it's valued and appreciated. I can't force people to support, jump on. Everybody has a life. Everybody has something else going on that's important in their life. To take time out of their day constantly to be there for me. I appreciate those that have. But I can't force it. And, and I know it's not mandatory. So, um, I just know that I went through a hard time in life when I didn't know who I was. And I struggled with so many things. Now, I'm going to be love and light. I'm going, I am love and light with pure and genuine intentions. And all I do is want to show love any way I possibly can. And that's what I stand for. And that's what I want people to realize. I'm a gatherer. And for those that don't know what that means, to gather is the same way as a hunter would. When you got a hunter and a gatherer. I'm not the hunter. I am the gatherer. So my job is to gather individuals that love, appreciate, respect themselves and me. And I gather them. And we all have this purpose in life to learn something from one another. Utilizing blessings with one another. Supporting each other. Even when you feel like you're at your last. To give love to another individual fills your cup back up. That's how you get your boom and your blessings, is by pouring into other individuals, even when you don't feel full yourself. So that's when you take yourself and give yourself that self-love and pour into you, so you can pour into others. I don't know how people get on and do a podcast by themselves and they just sit there and tell their opinion to the world and they want people to support it and to believe in it and stuff like that. I don't know how to do that at all. I don't want to do this alone. I don't want to do this podcast alone. I don't want to do this in life alone. And I'm not looking for a mate to do it with me. I'm not looking for um, a partner or someone to be in a relationship with. Nothing that. I want a unity. I want an empire. I want a group of people. I want everybody to come together and work together and utilize blessings with one another. I want a collective whole on the same mission, on the same drive, on the same purpose. And, and it's to have a utopia, to have a perfect place that everybody's mindful of themselves and they're mindful of each other and we barter and we grow food and we build together and go back to the ways it was back in the day before money became currency, when people were currency, when love was an exchange. I mean, I'm doing so many things and people are like, man... I can't pay to be on that. I'm paying for it to run. I'm not asking you to pay to be on it. I'm asking you to pay for the things that has to be paid for to run it. And I'm not talking about just me. I just, I don't know. That's here nor there. I just really want people to realize that they are valued. They're, they are a currency. For real, they are. Whether you're looking at the government or you're looking at how we feel. But at the end of the day, you are considered a currency. They stamped you for a reason, gave you a number for a reason. They checked you up in the box for a reason. That's why they write your name in all caps for a reason. That all caps person is a currency. People are currency. Every place, every position, every single individual has a reason to be here. We're all connected to one. It's all universal. We are the core of the universe. We really are. And not one is over the next. Not one position matters more than another. Because without the pawns, 
without the people or messengers or whatever you may be, whatever your position may be, without you guys, we wouldn't run the way we run. We need that. We need our pawns. We need our messengers. We need our um, watchers. I am a gatherer. My position is very important. I am together. And the message is big. We've been lied to our whole lives. It's all twisted. And that's the unseen twist of the truth. We've been lied to. Whether you choose to see it or not, that's your choice. Whether you choose to believe in it or not, that's your choice. I can't, I can't make you see something you don't want to see. I say for those that know, no. Those that don't, they won't. That's it. So either you want to live in your purpose and you want to live your best life for you and love you correctly or not. At the end of the day, the only one hurting is you. I mean, every time we unplug and we plug ourselves back, either we're going to go back to the same position that we were in before we unplugged or we're going to skip timelines or we're going to better advance our situation when we plug back in. We have that. We have that ability. We have that within us. It's our mindset. It's how we perceive things. We have that ability to better our situations. We have that within us if we change our mindset. I tell people all the time, you can't change your life, but you can change how you see your life and watch your life change. Can you receive that? In every situation, see something positive in it and grow and learn. You want to uh, um, stop repeating cycles, break generational curses, um, habit forming stuff. You want to you want to be able to stop habit forming your life, then change how you see it and then watch it change. But it all starts with you. It all starts with your mind. It all starts with how you feel. Cuz not only are we currency, but we are also energy based. Energy based. You want to live at a low vibrational frequency and you want to stay at a low playing field in life, then you're not going to achieve much at all. Every time we drop down, we don't drop down as far as we did the time before because we've learned something. So down isn't as far as it is, as it was. We bounce back up. We're always higher. Our, our bounce up game is immaculate when we bounce back. And it's always higher than the last time. Because we're learning. Every time we jump on that trampoline, we jump a little higher. We jump a little more intense. Because we're learning and receiving something from it. We're able to grow a little more. So um, I just want people to realize what position are you in this world? How do you feel about yourself? How do you love you? How do you appreciate you? How do you value yourself? That's what matters. That's the only thing that matters. So I choose to love myself regardless of what happens regardless of the circumstances that I allow to be put in, I choose to advance. I choose to improve. I choose to show respect, gratitude. And I choose to only use the currency that I know, which is love. We all believe in something. We all want something, which is happiness, in something bigger than us. So if you can believe in something bigger than us. And we can want the same thing. Then why can't we all realize that we all came here for the same reason. To fulfill a purpose. 
anyways, I mean, this would be probably one of the shortest um, podcasts that I've done in a long time, and that's okay. Short and sweet is fine. I'm not going to sit here and talk to myself, though, to you guys or at you guys. Anybody wants to join the podcast and be a part of it, they more than welcome to. It doesn't cost nothing to care. It doesn't cost nothing to love. It doesn't cost nothing to support. Your opinions matter. What you have to say matters. We can all come together and show unity and love for one another and do it in a collective whole matteredly. So, my guess, you know? With that being said, I guess I'm going to wrap it up. But anyways, just know that you matter. And you are valued and appreciated. I don't know what else to say. I am not going to sit here and just blow some opinions to you guys and force myself down your throat. That's not it. But just realize we all came to do the same thing, and that's eat. So why don't we do that correctly? With that being said, may your night be full of positive energy and high vibrations, everyone. I love you. I'll share.